we're going to start this video presentation of Neurolog Desktop by going to the Esri Arc map display of the world on the right hand side of the screen and zooming into a field in Wyoming, North America. Once we have our wells of interest in view, we can select a well of choice either on the map or from the tree on the left. Once I click on a well, then data relating to that well appears in three information windows at the center of the screen. The top window shows the well header information, and at the bottom of the screen, we find the documents window showing all the stored documents that are available for that well. If I select a well through the tree view, then we can take a close look at how these documents are organized at the well level. As you can see, these documents are split into two groups, well logs and well documents. These two groups are then further divided into a number of subcategories as defined by the users. We shall begin by looking at our Well Documents group and the Core Photo subcategory. Clicking on the document opens that document on the screen. Lastly, we shall take a look at the Structural DIP Reports subcategory and review one of the saved documents. Next, we shall take a look at our Well Logs document group. We shall start by selecting the Final Log subcategory and clicking on the raster image of the Array Induction Log. This image appears in our NeuroView software which is provided with Neurolog Desktop and enables us to view all industry standard Well Log formats. Next, we shall take a look at the LAS file subcategory and click on the Sonic Log in the document window. If needed, we can edit the LAS template and change the look and feel of the LAS display. Lastly, we shall select the TIFF log subcategory and open up a scanned black and white raster image. These logs can be scanned directly into the database using the Neuroscanner and made accessible to all desktop users. Within desktop, we have a number of data displays to choose from. When we right click on a well in the well grid and select log coverage plot, then we shall see a plot of all the available LAS logs for that well, along with the depth coverage for each log. Next we can view the well log curve statistics, which highlights what curves we have available for each LAS log, along with some basic statistics about each of the curves, such as units of measure, depth interval, and min and max values for each curve. The last data display we shall look at is the directional survey display. Here we can view the trajectory of the well bore path and check the bottom hole location of the well. If needed and you have the right privileges then you can update the bottom hole location into the well header record. Next we shall look at the well header data window and review some of the available tabs such as basic well header, into additional information, directional survey, top markers, sand counts, monthly production and production test data. When we click on the monthly production tab you can see we have a chart button and clicking on that button will pop up a decline curve for the monthly production for that well. This charting option is also available for the user definable custom data. Moving along we can see how easy it is to load documents to a well, in this case documents for a single well. If the document subcategory does not exist, then we can simply create it. In this case, we shall add the subcategory called Daily Drilling Report. Now that we have created the new document subcategory, we can right click on the well and select Add Documents. We can now search for the document in the file system. Select the document we wish to load and assign it to the correct document type. Once loaded, we will see the new subcategory in the well tree. If we now click on that subcategory in the tree, the corresponding documents will appear in the document window. Double clicking on the document will in turn invoke the default handler for that file type and the document will appear on the screen. Well logs can be loaded in the same way as shown on the screen. It is worth noting that we do have batch loaders available for loading large numbers of documents to multiple wells in a single load. When it comes to maps and seismic data, then associating these data types to a well is not really practical. So for this reason we make use of another entity, the field. 
In this example we are going to look at the teapot dome oil and gas field and the field report subcategory. Now we can review an AAPG presentation of a field study on teapot dome. Last but not least is the seismic subcategory. Clicking on this reveals a number of 2D segwise seismic sections down in the document window. If we click on one of these files then the file will open using our default seismic viewer. Alternatively, we can click on the seismic line icon and then any of the five visible seismic lines on the map and the underlying seismic segwi file will open as demonstrated. This concludes the demonstration today and we thank you for your attention.